Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I'm your host, Chelsea Lynn. And I'm your host, Paige Jen. And guess what, everybody? Oh, my gosh. What, dude? This is our 69th episode. Hell, yeah. We made it to 69, you guys, and we thought, you know what, what would be a good idea? Dicks everywhere. Well, if you're listening... And uh, not watching the pod, which we will post this on Instagram. Beth has transformed the studio into a bachelorette party. There are dicks everywhere. I know. Even on our heads, we are wearing crowns of dicks. And we even have them in our asses right now. And they are in our asses right now. (laughs) And uh, we thought, you know what would be fun? You know, we try to answer a lot of different questions on this podcast. Sexual questions, family questions. We try to do a good mix. But you know what we have yet to do? What? What, Chelsea? (laughs) Make a whole episode. Nothing but sex questions and sex topics. We love sex here. We do. So that's what we're here to do. I thought, hey, that'd be fun. I feel like every podcast is so much sex. (laughs) It's not, though. If you look back, I mean, we answer, what, eight to 12 questions per um per pod and we might have two or three yeah some sort i of guess it's not even the questions we just roll into yeah. something sexual absolutely it's just life yeah, yeah. well it is. it is yeah so that's what we're here to do i today. was thinking the other day well actually last night just damn dude the majority of people came out of a pussy like yeah. we all came out of a pussy <laughs> yeah isn't that weird to think about <laughs> yeah very weird Thanks, yeah Mom. yeah thank you moms yeah. Anyway, yeah, um, I am going to get into Rock Fucker of the Week, oh, yes. and you are Tony Smith. <laughs> Tony Smith. <laughs> Rock Fucker of the Week. And I did want to say, um, you talk, as soon as you said, and we have dicks in our asses, I thought, I got to read this review. We are reading podcast reviews on Apple and Spotify and all that. Brett really wanted to read it. Oh, you did? I didn't know that. Oh, no, I didn't want to read it. I just wanted to... He's like, can I bring that up to Chelsea? Oh, I didn't know that, Brett. No, I didn't want to read it. I was just going to pitch it to her to see if she liked it. Oh, okay. I thought you wanted to read negative negative reviews. Well, then you go ahead and read it, Brett. No, I don't want to read it. Oh, okay. I think it's funny. Oh, well, please read it for me. Okay. (laughs) He's too nervous. Um, uh, This review said, they labeled it the Vile Podcast. And they put two filthy low class skanks compete to be the first to get their listeners to throw up. Us. That is us. <laughs> and we want to put that on a shirt. And we're going to put it on a t shirt. And you guys, please head to Apple, Spotify, et cetera, and leave us a review. Even if it's like that, wonderful. Should we put um, the two, or should we just start it with how should we have it on the shirt? I think just a screenshot of that. Just slap it on there. <laughs> right. Easy. Right. Done. <laughs> Done. I uh, thought that was hilarious. So, yeah, yeah, help us take over the world. Leave us a review. Any review is a good review. Exactly. <laughs> I like the disgusting women one a lot, too. Little do people know. See, they think, truly, I think that these people think they are doing harm. Little do they know that even them saying that is literally helping us out. That's how dumb they are. And they don't know how much people we do help. You know, they're right. just thinking of themselves and they're just trying to exactly. They're just trying to bring their, you know, negativity on us and it ain't going to work. Like they don't say the word penis. Right. Or cock. <laughs> Anyway, um, hey, did you do you have two truths and a lie? Oh yeah, I hope they're good. Well, we wanted to make our two truths and two a lie. Two truths, one lie. Yeah, we wanted to make our two truths and a lie sexual, since everything's about sex this episode. Ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah, baby. I'll go first. I've watched other people have sex. Number two, I've never had any shit or farts come out during anal number three i lost my virginity in a garage 
Fuck, dude. Um, I'm gonna say you've never had any shit or farts coming out during anal. Is the... Wait, 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 wait. That would be true. Um, wait. You... I'm gonna say... We Can you kind of do a little foreshadow again? Quick one. Okay. Number one. I've watched people... I've watched other people have sex. Okay, then you didn't fuck... Or, I've never had any shit or farts come out during anal. Or, I lost my virginity in a garage. I'm going to say your lies, you didn't lose your virginity in a garage. Damn, you always get me. You always get me. You got it. That was my lie. Nice. That was my lie. Ha! Got he. Okay, oh. so mine is, uh, I caught my parents fucking... I had sex in my grandma's bed, and uh, my mom found my used condom. I know you fucked in your grandma's bed. That's true. I think you have, I want to say you have caught your parents fucking. I know you're not a condom user. So I think that's the lie, but how early on was that in your life? I'm going to say the condom's a lie. I've never caught my parents fucking. (sighs) God. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I know we need a little sound on there. <laughs> I clap for Your myself. mom found your used condom? Yeah. <laughs> that was perfect. That was fucking perfect. <laughs> that was good, bro. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, uh, yeah. She came back from a walk with my stepdad, and she's like, we found a used condom down on the road, and um, I said, and Danny's like, that's probably Paige's, her and her boyfriend, and my mom's like, huh. and I knew there was no way, and I was like, yeah, there's no way, and I was like, holy fuck, dude, because I remember the whole thing of like, yeah, just leave it there, what nobody it, will find it. What was it, it doing down the road? What, what do you mean? We were fucking down the road down the in road? the truck. Oh, in the truck. Yeah, but you know, you know, don't just yeah. bring the condom with you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. And they found it on their walking trail. Dude. And my mom said, I I knew it wasn't yours. Wow, you got me there. Got you and her. Does she know that it was to this day, that it was yours? No, I never said anything. I think you should tell her. Because I just like forgot. Yeah, I'll tell her. You should call her right now until I'm just kidding. Hey, mom, you <laughs> no. know, like, con- she'll probably be like, huh? I know. She won't know what you're talking about. Yeah. It's stuck in my That's brain. That's something though. you remember. Yeah. She's not going to remember that. No, she didn't think it was mine, so. Wow. Wow. Hey, um, you know what we haven't done in a while? And since it's the sex episode? Letters. I think we should grab a book. Letters to Penthouse by Chelsea. You guys, this is a good one, and it's a short one, so if you usually skip letters, just hang tight. I've missed letters. Uh, yeah, we haven't done it in a while. People either love letters or hate letters. This is a short one, and it's going to be good, so please hang tight, okay? The ca- the caption of it is, his wife's legs turned a lot of heads, even the hotel security guard. <clears throat> My lovely wife, Jillian, to whom I've been married 15 years, loves to show off her sexy legs and ass to strangers, and I simply love it when she does. Nothing turns me on more than seeing her 5 foot 7 inch frame in garters, heels, and hose, unless she is sharing that view with another person. During sex, we often talk about her dressing in a short skirt and stockings and having sex in public while men check her out and even touch her sexy legs. We have had sex in public places, but we never got wilder than that until a week before last Christmas. On that night, Jillian and I went into the city for a romantic dinner. Jillian wore a black cocktail dress, black garters, stockings, and heels. After dinner, she said she wanted to go to a local hotel to see their Christmas display. The hotel lobby was was of an aquarium type, raising up past the first four floors. 
which were visible from the inside. Jillian and I took the elevator up to the fourth floor and stood at the waist-high railing, looking down at the display. At that point, my wife asked me if I wanted to have a little fun. She turned around with her back against the railing and the short wall that supported it and pulled up her ankle-length coat. She then pulled up her, her cocktail dress, exposing her stockings and panties. She removed her panties and asked if I wanted a fucker. I looked around nervously. There was no one else on our part of the floor, at least not that I could see. I quickly unzipped my pants, pulled out my cock, (laughs) and fucked her up against the railing. Then I turned her around so that she was facing outward of the lobby, hiking up her skirt, and entered her from behind, running my hands all over her legs and ass as I sank into her. As we were doing it, we suddenly saw a man approaching. I quickly pulled out of Jillian, (laughs) pulling her skirt down. The man walked right up to us and asked, what were we doing? And... Did he do, are we doing what he thought we were doing? I started to say no, but my wife said, yes, we are. So what? The man said he hadn't been sure until he gotten closer and saw her hiked up skirt and her exposed stockings top, her exposed stockings. My wife then shocked me by asking if he would like to see them again. Without waiting for an answer, She hiked up her dress, showing him everything she had. I could hear him breathing hard. Julian then asked him if he'd like to touch her. And of course, he said yes. The man touched her legs and then rubbed her bare pussy. (laughs) My wife was moaning, and I was so horny that I stepped behind her and entered her from behind again. As I was fucking her, Jillian took out the man's cock and started stroking him. Soon, I couldn't hold back anymore, and I came inside of her. (laughs) When I slid out of her, the man asked if he could fuck her too. (laughs) Jillian said yes. He was so nervous he could hardly get his pants unzipped, but finally he got behind her and entered her too. Entered. Entered. He fucked her fast and furiously and came inside her in about a minute. (laughs) Afterward, the man told us that he was head of security for the hotel. (laughs) (laughs) And he he had been going to throw us out until he saw my wife's sexy legs. As it was, he said we could come back any time we wanted. We thanked him and left. That's it. If they come, he comes. Dude, the fact that he saw him fucking and approached him. And said, hey, can I get some I know. After the guy came in her. In a minute. Can I have some of your cum? Can you imagine, like, being in town for, like, vacation, and you open your hotel door, and you see that, uh, <laughs> you see that going on? Stroking the security guard's dick. Right. Like you're looking through your peephole, and then he's like, oh, yeah, by the way, I'm head of security here. God, that was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. Entered. 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 That was out of control. Hey, we have some wonderful questions lined up for you guys. Paige and I actually picked these questions. And Brett, before we get started, Brett, is there anything you want to say? You guys remember that uh, railroad that was supposed to go from California to Nevada? Like they always say they're going to complete it, but they don't. Or like what's the latest? I haven't heard anything for a while. I guess it goes like 180 miles per hour, whatever. Uh, but I also heard that there might be uh, underground railroads from 
New York to London, Antarctica, uh, Australia. Get there in like 20 minutes, I heard. I don't know. Um, praying mantises are evolving. I don't know if you guys know they're taking out hummingbirds and turtles, small turtles. Um, and pretty soon they'll probably be taking out small dogs. I don't know because, you know, they... And they uh, oh, and the only reason they eat the head of the male is because uh, they're hungry. Like if the mantis, if the female mantis is not hungry, she won't eat the, the male head. Brett, this is your head. Time's up. Lean back. <laughs> Thank you, Ross. Way to keep the sex theme going, Brett. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, did you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, here's the thing before we get started. Do y'all like 69? Um, it can be fun sometimes. I can dabble. But, I mean, it's not like an every night thing. No. You know, well, I don't know if they want me sharing this, but I'm sharing. Tina and Rafe, they, lo- they do oh, yeah. that every. That's like, wild. That's their favorite. I'm not a big 69er. I can't imagine just starting out with 69. I don't like to, um, I can't focus on mine. One thing at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all want to chime in? Beth says no, she doesn't love 69. Beth doesn't have a mic or headphones, so that's why you can't hear her. She does have a pen, of uh, (laughs) piece of paper. She does have a pen and paper. (laughs) You too? I hate it. Yeah, right. Especially like when you're it. on top. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because you got to, like, hold yourself up. Get, it's too much draining oh, on really? the neck. Trying to oh. suck a cock. And yeah. Then get, and there's no wow. way. I never thought about that. It's, it's bad. It's so uh, hard. It's bad. Yeah, try to plank. Nah. <laughs> no, I'm not planking. I'd With a dick in there. your mouth? <laughs> yeah. Choking? Wow. You guys uh-huh. are talented. Nah. Yeah. yeah. It's like a foot. Yeah. Nobody likes to hold their head up. Hey, Nobody. who thought no. you guys had a suck dick? Gosh. I think that's something you're born knowing. Yeah. You yeah. either have it or you don't, I guess. Just have confidence, honestly. Yeah. Right. Like, how do you know how to breathe? Wow. You just do. You know? Sometimes you even don't. <laughs> Sometimes you may have struggle, but for the most part, I mean, we're still alive, aren't we? You know how to breathe. Trial and error, too. Like, yeah. when you choke on it and get all that coagulation of that spit, it helps. Yeah. Big so time. then you carry that along with you, and then mm-hmm. you just. You just suck on a dick. Right. Mm-hmm. Big time. Maybe a corn dog. I don't How know. How do you suck dick? <laughs> <laughs> Good job, <laughs> Brett. Brett's yeah. on it Man. today. Hey, I think it was that uh, silo. Do it again, Brett. Here we go. How do you suck dick? How do you suck dick? Wow. Mm-hmm. I love How her. How do you suck dick? Dude, when someone yelled that at your show, mm-hmm. that was funny. Yeah. But <laughs> but just because Brett says that was funny, please don't yell shit at my show. Oh. Uh-uh. No, don't yell shit. Just clap and stuff. Yeah. There's a time to yell stuff, but when I'm in the middle of, you know, a bit and it's all quiet, don't yell, how do you suck dick? Because no. security will throw you out. Whoa. Yeah. No warnings? Mm, I'll give you a warning. <laughs> Did you hear Brett? <laughs> what did you say? You said security will throw you out and Brett said, and fuck you. <laughs> and fuck you. <laughs> Good job, Brett. Good job. Damn, hmm. dude. That little mushroom I gave him got, him, <laughs> got that frontal lobe fucking spinning. Yeah. <laughs> the frontal lobe is growing and spinning <laughs> with every mushroom. <laughs> All right, honeys. Are we ready to get into it? Yeah, and let's fucking roll that beautiful bean footage. Daddy's little earth angels. <sighs> Whoa. Yeah, she is good at that stuff. Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Want to smell better? Naked? Let's face it, our underarms aren't the only place we have body odor. That is why I am so thankful for today's sponsor. Lumi, whole body deodorant for pits, privates, and beyond. Created by an OBGYN who saw too many women being overtreated with antibiotics they didn't need for external day-to-day odor. It's clinically proven to block odor all day and controls odor for 72 hours. There has never, never been a deodorant like Lumi. They give new customers a limited time discount of $5 off Lumi's starter pack with code VIRAL at lumideodorant.com. As you all know, I play tennis and it gets a little sweaty down there, so I like to rub the deodorant stick on the outer slit layers. Lumi was also made with the most sensitive body parts in mind. 
And as you all know, I am very sensitive down there, so I rarely use soap. So with this deodorant stick, I can just apply it on my outer lips, and I am good to go and smelling fresh as ever. I absolutely love the Lumi Starter Pack, which lets you build a custom bundle of their best-selling products and customize your scents. It comes with a full-size stick deodorant, a cream deodorant tube, and two free products of your choice, like acidified body wash or wipes. You can use Lumi products on your pits, under boobs, thigh folds, belly buttons, butt cracks, fupas, vulvas, feet, slits, anything you desire. So what are you waiting for? Get started on your Lumi Starter Pack today. With over 150,000 five-star reviews, we are so confident you'll love Lumi. As a special offer for listeners, new customers get $5 off a Lumi Starter Pack with code VIRAL at lumideodorant.com. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack when you visit lumideodorant.com and use code VIRAL. Morning, Trini. Full time working mom here. How are ya? Um, so it's really funny because last night I was talking to my husband, and Chelsea, you know how whenever you talk about how Greg talks, you're like, hey, what are you doing? So I started talking to my husband last night like that, and he doesn't like to eat me out for some reason. He has this big beard, and I think that he just thinks that it gets in the way. And also, he doesn't like doing doggy style because it says that it hurts the back of his legs. Mm. So, like, help help me out, guys. <laughs> like, I thought talking in Greg's voice would make him feel like an idiot, and said he just laughed at me. So, is there any tips or tricks? You know, because I love doggy. I love it, but my husband says that it hurts his legs. So we try it different ways, and then by that point, I'm just annoyed and irritated. And, yeah, I told him that he needs to start eating my pussy more, so... <laughs> What's your guys' advice? Mm-hmm. Anyway, I hope you all have a fabulous day and love everything y'all are doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Um, well, first off, um, can you imagine being like, oh, babe, let's, I'm going to bend over this dude doggy. He's like, oh, it hurts my leg. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Dude. My legs hurt. <laughs> yeah. Does he have like early onset rigor mortis or whatever? <laughs> right. Or, or he needs... I don't know. He needs a massage gun. Here's the deal. Greg will not and does not like doing doggy on the bed. Either does Brett. And I'm like, dude, I just want to give my knees a break. I I hate. Greg wants me to back my ass up to Mm -hmm. the edge of the bed and he wants to stand and do it. And I hate it. Brett. Oh, wow. (laughs) Me, I hate that too, I hate it. (laughs) Me too. I'm always like suggesting. Uh Yeah, I want to just want to just do it on the bed. Oh no, hop down here. I hate it. Why? I I always ask to do it on the bed. Oh, he he doesn't like it. Oh, knees hurt. Up to the bed. Then I had no idea you you guys didn't like it. Like okay, you get back there and get your nut. I'll just have my knees fucking hitting into the bed board. I don't like it. Nope. Now, are y'all doing regular bed doggy to do his knees hurt that way or back of his legs hurt that way? Get to the edge of the bed and have him stand up behind you, I guess, yeah. and try that. It's going to suck for you, but... That's what I like. Why? Well, I like to stand up, and then, yeah, you can put your knees up on the bed, and I... No, 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 but you why do you like, like that? But why no, do you... I do. I, I could do that. But you... all I suggest that, and you say... Oh, no. Hop that... down. I like it better on the... Dude, so I thought why? you liked it the other way. My fault. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I want to go back to the other way, too. Just say, just answer the question, please. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? Which way do you like better? I like it with her knees on the mattress. You're lying. You're no. lying, Brett. I thought you liked to be on the standing up. I mean, I, okay. love, I love doggy style regardless. <laughs> just listen. Uh-huh. Why do you like standing up? Just because I'm standing up. I'm going to be standing up both ways, whether your feet are on the ground or they're on the bed. Your knees are on the bed. You're not going to be standing up both ways. Yeah, I am. I'll be standing up. But I've suggested that other one, and you're like, mm, just, I like it. You said I like it when you're all, like, standing up and bending over. Right. I'm standing up, and your knees are oh, on he's, the bed. Oh, he's not. Bed. He's not. Getting it? I'm talking about her being bent over on the bed uh-huh. and you being behind her on your knees on the bed, middle of the bed. Right. I know. So that's what you guys want. Yes. You don't like that? 
I could do that. But you don't you, like it. But you don't like it as much. So what's the right. fulfillment of yeah. like standing up? Is yeah. it like um, Yes. What is it about standing up that makes it? It's just more comfortable. Okay. But okay. I don't mind the other way. Okay. That's all. what we were. That's what we yeah. were getting at. <laughs> 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 nothing more, nothing less. You got so frustrated. Well, I mean, come on. That's my everyday life. It's like trying to explain <laughs> something in the most simple way and then to not have any distractions. Yeah. And then oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's a, tough. <laughs> it's a tough one but you don't mm-hmm. care either way you're getting a nut you don't yeah. care mm. okay i'll i'll uh not be as comfortable <laughs> so i guess it is uncomfortable for dudes to be banging doggy regular on the bed because the collar says his legs hurt greg's does not like it it's more you, like a knee thing like a yeah. knee flexibility well we're on our knees too and we're probably and, not even coming uh, from doggies right so. and we're bent over facing the pillow can't breathe uh-huh so but they think about us every once in a while. I'm real confused right I now. Need. I thought she liked doggy. My fault. Oh no. boy. Mm. Um. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Mm. Doggy sometimes hurts my insides, my guts. Doggy to me feels the best. It feels the best. But there's, I get forget about coming in doggy. I will not come. I won't even be close to coming. Yeah. But it feels the best. Why is that? It feels good, but. Maybe just because it hits a certain spot. Maybe yeah. that G spot hits. Yeah. Mm. But I can't come unless missionary. So yeah. I'm uh, not sure. Whoa. <laughs> what? Flashbacks of her. Yeah, well, not, I you not did. as good. Like, oh my. She has like degrees of yeah. nuts, you know? I do. Yeah. I have degrees of nuts. Mm. Yeah. I have a soft. I like the soft, slow ones that aren't crazy. And if I'm nutting hard... I have levels of orgasms. Yeah, you have your bachelor's degree. Yes. Your just diploma. Associates. So your doctorates. Your masters. Your masters. There's different levels of nut. But she said she doesn't nut from doggy. Right. Not like uh, my solid. She does one. nut. Hey, Brett. Well, she tells you she nuts. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to find out. Got like, Has she been <laughs> like lying or? Probably. I, I Why are you always lying? <laughs> Whoa. No, I'm not lying. There's degrees, and I've told you this. Holy. But you said you don't oh. come from doggy. But you said you yeah. don't come from <laughs> but, doggy. But wait, but, but, you said, you, you told me that you don't. Dang. Brett, they want to move on. They yeah, just said. let's move on. Yeah. Hey, Brett, lean back for us, and we're going to yeah. move on to the next question, okay? Oh, ducky. <laughs> hey, honey. Question here. Well, story and a question. So... I work in an industry where we help people plan for end of life. And, um, you know, we give options of cremating. And then also there's extra options of what you want done with your ashes. And people have said all kinds of crazy things. Like there is an option where you can be planted um, and mixed with soil and grown into a tree. There's an option where you can be shot up into space. Well, I just have to tell you all about the gentleman and his wife that came in the other day. Um, They asked for their ashes. Well, his his wife asked for his ashes to be made into a sex toy so that she could continue having sex with him after he had passed on. And they were very embarrassed to tell me this, but I told them I loved that idea. I'd never heard it before, but I think that is so cool. Um, So my question is, when you all pass away, if you do want to be cremated, what would you all want to happen? Um, Yeah, you could do Viking funerals. You could be made into a sex toy, whatever you wanted. Um, So let me know. Thank you, honey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. (laughs) That is awesome. Us as old people. I didn't know that there was actually a company that would do that. I thought you just got the ashes and you had to do it, you know? True. I I knew that there was a company that, or companies that, like, made put your ashes into jewelry, stuff like that. But now you can be a dildo and get shot up into space. Can you imagine sitting there, you're elderly, you're having the conversation with your, you know, husband or wife about... You're opening up the brochure... We're booklet. like, listen, like when we die, we need to make plans. Where do we want to be buried? Do we want to be cremated? What do we want to do? And your wife's like, well, or the husband's like, well, I know what I want you to do with my ashes. I want you to put it in a dildo 
So I can still fuck you when I'm dead. <laughs> My soul will still be in you. But and the wife. Wh- but when the wife dies, the kids get the dildo. Oh, that's and what be I- like. This is my dad. Oh <laughs> God, I don't know like, what they have to get it the same size as the dad's dick. They have to do the clone of Willie. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. they know. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's gonna be real. Yeah. Listen, Ooh. I think that's awesome. I think that's cool. I think those two old people are fucking cool. Um, I think I do want to be cremated. I don't want to be buried. Um, you know, just put it in nature also uh, now that i know what can be done i kind of want to be a glory hole yeah and just if you enter i want any pass it down but i want to add an entrance of anybody's house they could fuck the glory hole that's or good. in the bathroom that's good i like going with something sexual because you know you should still still be able to nut when you've passed away Maybe they could put you in a couple different spots. Right. In oh. a tree, in a pussy. You can do both. You can do it all. There's going to be lots of ashes. Got a big body. Damn. I'm going to gain <laughs> some weight so I can So you can be multiple be places. <laughs> right, right, right. Exactly. <laughs> Dude, I love this. What would you guys do? I think I would do that uh, tree pod burial where they, you know, just. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just <clears throat> grow the, some mycelium down there. Okay. Okay, but what do you think about, you know, being a dildo? Absolutely. I could maybe cut the ashes in half. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah. What if you gave it to an NBA player to just throw in the air before the game? (laughs) And that'd be wild if he agreed to it. Sure, I would. Wild if he agreed to it. What would you do, Maggie? I don't know. I think the space sounds really cool. The space? Yeah. Yeah, Getting shot up in the space. (laughs) Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you imagine, like, where... Your ashes would go and, I mean, you wouldn't get to see nothing, but. Yeah. Do they just take you up there and then just uh, salt bay the world? Or What if they tell you they do, but that they, oh, they, they don't? They're tossing you in a <laughs> closet. <laughs> they're taking your money and they're putting it in the dumpster behind Burger King. And they're saying they'll never know. They'll never know. I'm being serious. I know. How do you know? They're, yeah. they're doing that in space. They're probably sending them a video, too, just here, and it's a, just an animation. It's one video they filmed one time. They use it for everybody. Yeah, seems like other stuff that happens. Seems suspicious. Just saying. <laughs> I'd look into that. If you want to do that, I would look into that. Yeah. Don't waste your money before you know how it works. Make sure you know the fucking the rocket sending mm-hmm. the body up, everything. Right. The ashes, I mean. Exactly. Thank you for calling in. I love I I love those old people. And that was cool. That was cool. You didn't judge them or nothing. You were like, oh yeah, I love it. You were the right person to be there. Yes, exactly. Comforting. Exactly. Thank you, honeys. Love you. Hey, honeys. Just pissed in the guy's mouth here. Yeah, that happened. So, real quick story. Seeing a vendor at work, one of his kinks he said he wanted to try was having somebody pee in his mouth. Normally, that's kind of pushing boundaries for me, but I really, really like him. So I was like, you know what? What the fuck? I'll do it. So he did. I'm not down for that kind of stuff, but he seemed to really like it. I turned him on, so whatever. But my question to you guys is, Have is there like a, a kink or a fetish that you would absolutely never, ever try or consider? Mm. Just wondering. Love y'all. Oh, yeah. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. Who is this? That was a good one. I've never heard it been done that way. Ooh, yeah. We have Mariah Carey. <laughs> that was beautiful. Oh. Is there a kink that we would not not be down for? I wouldn't let somebody, like, shit in my pussy. I wouldn't do the Alabama Hot Pocket. <sighs> the shit. I would let somebody shit on me with saran wrap over it but oh maybe you'd still feel the warmth and smell it it would have to get wrapped up quick and get out but Mm. if i had to but actual shit on me and uh -uh, i'm not here for that i think any anything shit piss and puke related i'm out puke's disgusting i'm out I I can't do it. 
No. No. P doesn't scare me too much. Well, it doesn't scare me as much as shit, but it's still piss, and I just can't. Mm, I'm good. You're good without it? Yeah. I'll live, you know, if I never get, you know, piss in someone's mouth. Oh, damn. Can't believe people, like, who comes up with the creative idea? You mean just, like, one day one guy's like, oh, I really want to uh, shit on her. Or just for, like, porn sets or anything, you know? Okay, today uh, oh. Larry's going to shit in Kim's <laughs> pussy. Right. and I don't know how that starts. Because there's probably kinks out there that maybe one or two people in the world do, and it's not caught on yet. I bet the people who write these things are, are the people with the kinks. Yeah. They just write out their fantasy. That's true. Very true. Which is also like, damn. Brett, well, I'm curious to know what you, what is something that you just would not, like, I'm not doing it. I, that's, that's too much for me. It's not going to do anything for me. Probably like all the, the blood stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. I agree with you. I would rather, yeah. we have a friend that's into that. Mm. That, the blood stuff is like freaky. Like, yeah. Too much for me. I, but I would rather do blood stuff than shit stuff. Mm. And I don't, and the blood stuff does not turn me, that may, that's gross to me. But I would, if I, ha, if I had to pick. It's like scary to me, I guess. A little satanic. Yeah, a little Megan Foxy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what do you do? You just make a little cut. Get some blood on you, then fuck. She she said homeboy slits his chest and um, like she's like, who what did what's his name? Machine Gun Kelly. She's like he'll just grab something and just make a slit and that's I don't fucking they, know they, what they that. just fucking blood. Adrenochrome, I guess. Huh. Yeah, that's that. And, and there's probably stuff that we don't even know about that's worse than shit. And don't do this. Don't just go cutting shit. Yeah. To no. And if you are if you want to and you're into that and you whatever, but don't do it just to be like. And look it up, you know. You don't want to be cutting your, oh, uh, I just don't do a it. vessel in your wrist and bleed to death. Yeah, just don't do that. Don't. Just be careful, you know. Self-mutilation, bad. And just have regular sex. <laughs> yeah, no cuts. You know? You don't need to cutty. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Oh, Beth, I want to know Beth. Beth doesn't have a mic, but Beth, what's like? What's your thing you'd never want to do? She can be with uh, shit. Shit. <sighs> oh, shit. It, it's the smell and the and the warmth of it, and I just don't know how people could get off to it. The smell. Can you imagine being into shit sex and you just go into a public restroom and you're just smelling the shit and you're jacking off? Like, God, it smells so good in here. You just got to push through. Huh? I... No, Shit. you do not even. Dick. I go in by. the bathroom just plugging my fucking right. nose, dude. I'm trying not to even smell if it's good or bad. But if you're a shit lover, oh. a public bathroom is uh, is fucking Disneyland, Candyland, mm, Taco Bell. Uh, stop. <laughs> if you do, I guess there's locks, but Brett said he walked into the Costco bathroom and somebody just took a shit on the floor. That's rare for Costco. That's very rare for Costco because I've never seen that at Costco. Mm-mm. Yeah, I think I, pu- public bathrooms are pretty cool. Interesting. <laughs> He's like, dude, somebody just took like a human shit in there, yeah, like on like the a, ground. Look like an emoji. Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> but can you? It was talented, kind of. But can you imagine going to use the bathroom and walking in and seeing someone squatted down shitting right there? I think he had a plan. He, it was. It was. Picasso. You you just be like, hey, what you doing? Just shitting. <laughs> yeah. I mean, technically, he's in a bathroom. Ooh, I feel so bad. Like, I just have to clean the bathrooms at the lake, dude. <sighs> oh, lake bathrooms are. Oh my, we would just spray them, dude. The smell was atrocious. Lake bathrooms are awful. I would always try to go with this guy who wouldn't really mind it. Maybe he was a fe- fish, a fucking <laughs> fishy lover. Um, because he would just take the hose, no problem, and I was dying, oh, even in the, the truck smelling it. Oh man, wow, that's a lot. Let's <sighs> let's move on. I don't want to talk about I don't want to talk about shit anymore. We're making our viewers puke. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we do. I know that's what we do best. Love you, honeys. Thanks hey. for the question. Hey, honeys, masturbator here. Ooh. 
I have a question for all of y'all. Paige, Brett, Maggie, Chelsea. Um, have y'all ever masturbated while driving? I'm very curious. If I was just a flick in the bean while I was on my way home, and I thought, you know, am I the only person that does this? <laughs> Would love to know. Love you, honeys. Oh, yeah. Love you. Love you, honeys. I'm sure you're not the only one. I have never. I have never. In my life. I've seen, or I've heard yeah. some people call in and say they jerk it. or. That's a thing. I have never even thought to rub one out as I'm driving. But that's a thing. People love to do it. I thought it was more of a man thing, but she's a chick. Rubbing her pussy. I wouldn't be able to focus on the road. I wouldn't be able to focus on my nut. The roads are too dangerous. There's potholes. You have to be alert. Right. And you're sitting there just jacking it. Uh, And I would just wouldn't be able to focus on my nut. It would take like a solid road trip to get that nut. Oh, a long ass road trip. Especially like if cars are driving by you, do you just continue just going at it? Well, I guess they're not really going to look and see. But if they do, well, don't look in my car. Don't look in my car. I I'm, look at every car. You're in my car. <laughs> you're in my car. I've ne- I didn't even know that was a thing until not too long ago. And I think somebody called in and, and had said that. Jerked off. And Wait, I'm just like. I sucked him off while he was driving. But like, that's totally different. I do feel like that's different. Yeah. Because like when you're by yourself, just what, what encourages it? You're at a stoplight. Mm, I think I'm going to just twiddle diddle. Well, what if that's your only time alone? And you, yeah. That could be. I don't know. Maybe it's a rush thing to know that people are driving by you or sitting by you at a red light and you're sitting there jacket, you know. That's true. Because I've had a lot of messages that say, Paige, will you please just show me a picture of you like mooning people out in public? Like they, it's a public thing. They love the public stuff. Mm Mm-hmm. And it's their way of not going too public and getting in trouble for, you know, doing it in public, public. But they're still in the safety of their own car. Nobody can really see what they're doing, maybe. That could be it. It could be a mixture. It could be all those things. <clears throat> they should have a theme park where you can ride roller coasters and, like, just nut at the same time. Like, you know, the adrenaline. Us, if we owned just a theme out park. out in public. Yeah. If we started Tammy Land. <laughs> no loop de loops though. No, you can't be looping and nothing. Yeah. You can't be looping and nothing. Oh. It'd, it'd get in your eye. It'd be like the wall climber on steroids. Everyone can just sit in their own cart <clears throat> and a just tongue will pop out and just <clears throat> lick. Or, you know, pussy pockets can pop out oh from my. places. You're giving me ideas for Tammy Land. Yeah, good ones. Dude, that's hilarious. Good times. Good times, fun. Yeah, not a car masturbator. I'm not even a car fucker. I mean, I have fucked in cars, but I don't like to. I'm big. I'm not big on the PDA. No, agree. I guess. Like, because I don't love when people around me are just yeah all over. It's just, it's not annoying. Or I guess do your thing, but that's just not for me. Yeah. A little bit's okay. A little kiss here, a little handhold there. But when they're like just. Too much. Yeah. Yeah. Then chill. Then chill. Yeah, not a big car fucker. Maggie just recently fucked in a car. <gasps> We've talked about it on the pod. And you liked? No. Nah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Nah. Car fucking is just, maybe I'm just, I don't know. It's not comfortable. It's quick. Some people love it and think it's hot. Mm, no. I want to be in a bed. Or if it's a sprinter, but that's. If it's a sprinter van, that's a different story. Yeah, but if it's <laughs> anything smaller. Nope. Right. No. Not enough room. Fucking legs. And then after they come, what are you going to do with it? Put it in the cup holder? Agree. Ooh. I'm always scared somebody's going to, like, like a cop's going to come shine a light. Yeah. And that happened to my cousin. And she was going to get a police job. And then my cousin (sighs) was the boy. And they fucking fired her. (sighs) They wouldn't let her get her job because they were fucking in the church parking lot. And he lost his job, too. Cops caught him in the church parking lot? Yep. Cops caught him. There is um, 
Oh my gosh, what was I going to say? I just lost it. Cops catching somebody fuck? That was my throat. Oh, so if, let's say hypothetically, you are in a, yeah, if you're in the church parking lot or the Applebee's parking lot, sure. And in Utah. Yeah. But if you are in a secluded, wooded, dead-end road or something, and y'all are fucking and you get caught, is that still considered public sex? I know, it's, you're you're trying to hide. You're in your car. You're, you know, I mean, I guess it technically still would. You'd still get in trouble. Because it's not your land or property. Right. There's this YouTube channel that I love. He hasn't posted in a long time. Years ago, I watched him. He's this guy in Oklahoma City who he got tired of people. He got tired of seeing the prostitution going on and not necessarily the prostitutes he was very nice to them he, yeah. he had interviewed them but he was sick of like the johns coming and like picking up i guess these prostitutes so he started a youtube channel where he would bust them and he would even i think be in he would even like be friendly with these ladies and he would be like i'll come bust them and you get the money i'll bust them they'll leave you don't even have to do the trick type of thing he calls himself video vigilante and he has caught it is the most interesting youtube channel he did this in probably the early 2000s i These think i watched one of him oh he has caught i mean grandpas fedex drivers just picking up a prostitute and they'll go behind a school behind a church whatever and he will come up and just be like what are you doing here what do you, you know and it's pretty interesting and he'll interview the prostitutes, mm-hmm. like, how did you get into this? Mm-hmm. And, like, mm-hmm. yeah. But just the, hear their the prostitutes know he's around and he's filming. And from, from what I understand from watching the videos, they don't care because they get in the car with these men, they get the money, and then he comes up. They don't have to – they literally just get up and walk off. So they just, you know. Oh, yeah. They fuck don't the, you know? fuck about these yeah. guys. Yeah, fuck those guys. Exactly. I think a dog farted. Hmm. The dogs are in the – uh in the room with us, and I'm about to puke. Tilly is right under you. I can't she smell farted. anything. I mean, I'm like... nine, dude. It's bad? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. I don't want to smell it. Yeah, sorry about that. It's not me, but, you know, I'm still apologizing. Thanks I'm for s- fanning it at us. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, thank Any, you for calling. Yeah, thank yeah. you for calling in, honeys. We appreciate all these sex questions. Oh, yeah. Who wants better sex? If you just thought to yourself, I do. Well, that's great because you are in the right spot. The best way to get started is to go to adamandeve.com. Adam and Eve is offering 50% off almost any one item, plus free shipping, which includes rush processing. And Adam and Eve care about your privacy. So if you don't want family members or your kids or just anyone around to know that you have bought a dildo, a clit sucker, a anal bead, a cock ring, lube, then Adam and Eve will offer discreet shipping for you. We are all about doing better here on the Viral Podcast, so bring pleasure and more satisfaction into your bedroom today. Just go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. It could be an adventurous new toy or just anything you desire. Just enter offer code VIRAL at checkout. That's viral, V-I-R-A-L, at adamandeve.com. This is an exclusive offer specific to the podcast, so be sure to use this code viral to get your discount. 100% free shipping and get it fast with rush processing. Code viral. Oh, yeah. Hey, honey, divorced here. Um, spent half of my life with a man who I thought I was going to spend forever with, but haha, joke's on me. No. Um, anyways, today I am free, I'm happy, and I just, this is for episode 69. Ooh. Um, I now live by two rules during sex. I get mine first, and you can go when I say you can go. So if you can't live up to those, then they're gone. So just thought I would call. I love you, honey. You're doing great. You're looking good. And fuck what everybody else says. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Great rules. Yes, honeys. Those are great rules. And you know what? Good for you for, you know, you're starting fresh and you're like, you know what? I've got rules now that I'm not putting up with that, with what I used to put up with. That's smart because she's went through it. So. Right. Right. 
probably never made her nut and she's like you know what i deserve i deserve better and i've got rules and if you can't pass those we're not moving forward yeah if you can't come when i want you to bye right or or let her come first i wonder how hard it is to hold back a nut if you're a guy brett uh i have to come like the whole time we have sex but for some reason i'm just able to kind of hold on for a while Sometimes he can't hold on, though. I wonder yeah. what the feeling's like, though. Yeah. You know? I guess, is it the same as the girls? I don't know. I have no idea. Hmm. I don't know. I think, it, I would assume it would be hard. Because it's always a joke, you know? Like, guys coming quick, it's just, mm-hmm. how hard is it? I guess once it's coming, you can't physically stop. I guess once you're like close, once you're like ninety percent of the way there, you can probably hold back a little bit, calm down a little bit, slow it down. But if you're like ninety nine percent and it starts shooting off, you can't control that. <laughs> you can't. <sighs> you can't. And she's got what were we gonna say, Brett? You started to talk. Oh no, I'm done. Okay. She's got warm, hot nut. She's got rules for herself. Do I? I don't know if I have any rules. Um, I should start laying down some rules. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think everyone should have rules before yeah. they date. Yeah. Before they, well, not before they date, but before they truly want to settle down. Yeah. Fucking have a list of what, how you want to be treated and stick by it. So, That's true. So that your life's just not shit. Mm-hmm. And you get the nut. Yeah. Good job, honeys. Proud of you. Keep on keeping on. Mm-hmm. Boss. Love you. Hey, honey. Stripper here responding to your inquiries about strippers and their panties from episode 63. To answer your question, no, we don't really have to change our panties a whole lot throughout the night, honestly. I mean, it's one thing you have if you have discharge, that happens. But I will tell you, no, I am not getting horny or wet when I am dancing on film from accounting. It's a dry fucking desert down there in that moment. And... It's actually a whole lot better for us when we're able to wear panties. It depends on state to state and club to club um, if panties are worn or not. But think about it for sanitary purposes. If there was just dozens of pussies, like, rubbing all up on that same pole all night, we probably wouldn't be having no beautiful, clean pussies to be showing no more. And also... Uh, strippers are constantly having to deflect sexual assault. Like, I'm always having to move people's hands away from where they're not supposed to go. And so think about if there were not panties there, that would make it a whole lot more difficult to stay safe. Um, you know, strippers do deserve to be respected just as much as the next profession. Like, please tip your strippers, take good care of them, respect them, and value them. So, anyway... Love you, honeys. Wondering if you could get a shout out to strippers because oh, yeah. strippers make the world go round just as much as the next profession. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shout out to strippers. Dude, big shout out to strippers. I have been pro stripper my whole life, and I've always said that. Love stripper, strippers. Um, I think strippers are great. And truly, having to put up with... Oh. <laughs> Somebody's just trying to finger your hole and you right. have to push their hands away because they don't have any fucking common right. decency. Well, I have been to my fair share of um, strip clubs and I've only seen one thing happen. And I'm sure I'm sure these ladies deal with shit <clears throat> all that night. Every every night. Um, I was in ecstasy at Dallas, my favorite strip club. <clears throat> and uh, there was this stripper like on a side stage. And she was completely nude, bottom and everything. And she was dancing right in front of me and this guy. I didn't, I wasn't with, I mean, I was with a group of people from Whole Foods. We went after work <laughs> and uh, <laughs> wrapped a bakery. Let's go. Yeah. And uh, he was a side man. He was young, you know, he was probably, I don't know, 18, 20, 21, maybe. And she was dancing right in front of him. And he was touching her legs. I think they allowed like, light like a light touching maybe like i don't know but i remember he was touching her legs and she was okay with it and then he just reached up and just started touching her pussy this lady got on her knees reared back and punched him in the fucking face and we were like hell yeah (laughs) i mean i mean punched him in the fucking face she goes don't fucking touch me again and this 
I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. People think they can just, yeah, just cause you're it's there. there. Yeah. Oh, you're there. You're naked. You're in front of me. I can just, w- no, you can't. But she, oh, no, all the rules. I will never forget that. And think of all the people drinking too. Be like, you're up on stage and you're not fucking, you know, right. topless and twirling around a pole mm-hmm. and people are still annoying drunk sometimes. Yeah. Think about a strip club. That's true. Your pussy's right there and they're drinking. You get alcohol involved. Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. But I'm thinking of, she says, you know, I don't get wet or turned on dancing on Bob from accounting. Oh, I, I get that. I, I, I agree with you. I'm thinking of like, sometimes I can just be sitting here filming a podcast uh-huh. and get up. I don't have discharge. Yeah, I have discharge right now. Right. So, you, so it could pop out. I didn't mean from being horny at all. Saying that's what I... Cause, mm. Yeah, because I don't... I know just... I know they're not getting anything from these men. Right. They're getting that money. Right. But. So I know that if I was a stripper, I would have to bring yeah, several pairs of underwear because I'd be... Back up. Yeah. Back up for discharge. Right. Back up for discharge. Exactly. <laughs> We're so sick, dude. Well, we just... I mean, it's real life. You know what I mean? But I love strippers. I love you guys. Support you guys and keep stripping and you know keep keep making the world a better place. We love you. Keep spinning. <clears throat> exactly. And twirling. Mm. They twirl too. And we love the twirl. We love the twirl. Oh, me, Maggie, and Beth will go to the strip club, and if they're up there twirling, we are just. I mean, we're tipping them like crazy. We need a money in. Yeah, and then when they clack, the ugh. hills clack and the twirling. I just love a strip club. <clears throat> it's just fun. We got to check the one out here in Nashville. I know. Nashville. We need to go. Oh my God. Also, let's go to a stripper class, the workout one. I've oh. wanted to do that for like two years. Okay. A workout stripping class. Are I, you down? I'm down. I'll try it. I also want to try goat yoga. Goat yoga, stripping, and there's a couple other things. Let's we do it. Do. Let's do it. Absolutely. Can you imagine? The strip club doors open and this whole crew walks in. <laughs> They're like, uh, we're going to have to. Uh, <laughs> That's fucking wild. <laughs> Shout out to strippers. We love you, honeys. Love Stay you. safe. <clears throat> hey, honeys. Sore pussy here. I really just kind of want to know, uh, what are y'all's thoughts about dudes who just, just won't fucking come? I just hooked up with the dude that I met up, uh, met on Tinder, and um, I have had some long-lasting dudes in my life, but this was ridiculous. Um, my pussy is sore. At the end, I swear to God, she was starting to just, like, get dropped. You're supposed to get wet. It was exhausting. I'm exhausted. Like, and, and he still didn't even come. I just was like, um, I have a cramp in my leg. I need to go. I didn't know what to do. I think it went on for a, almost two hours. Damn. Look, I love sex. But two hours is just way too long for my pussy. Like, just to be, there was not enough stamina in the world for me. I don't know if it's because it was a late night hookup. But I feel like there has to be a sweet spot between a dude who like, you know, comes as soon as they just like knock on that little, uh, little door. Um, and then the dude that lasts for two hours. Like how I, I even gave him head when well, my head gave great. And he was not like, he seemed like he enjoyed it. Um, uh, but no, I had to take a cramp because I was tired. Uh, so please tell me, am I crazy? Um, you know, would would you love to get fucked for, you know, two plus hours? Because I don't even know how long it would have keep this point. Uh, so, yeah, let me know because I'm really curious if I am alone here. Um, hi, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you've ever heard I fucked that pussy dry, that's not good. Right. And here's the thing. I'm sure dudes that can't come during sex that is out i feel like for the most part that's out of their um 
they control. Can't control it, yeah. That's out of their control. Something's, I don't know, something could be going on. I don't know. So I wouldn't take that personal. If he's fucking you, I'm sure he wants to come. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or he wouldn't even be there, probably. Right. So I wouldn't take that personal. But two hours of penetration. Woo! Give a warning. Um, I'd say give it up after probably 30, 45 minutes of, str- of straight straight penetration. That 45 minutes seems like it would be a lot. I'm good with just like five ten minutes that's what i'm saying but two hours damn i uh uh-uh. why didn't she be like okay after after 30 minutes you're not gonna come like let's it's hard to just say that yeah. though in the moment like hey dude i'm raw yeah <laughs> you've rubbed me raw and dry i would just say i'm starting to hurt Are you close <laughs> or what are we doing here what's going on man check the watch invisible watch what's going on man it's uh make up some make something up <laughs> hey man i gotta get home oh, uh, i gotta pee yeah that's tr- oh god she heard from tom i gotta pee you know she had to pee Ooh, she i, I just peed yeah i would say that's definitely out of your control though how yeah. you were or out of his control oh, it could yeah. be a number of things like oh. medication mm-hmm. uh Maybe just can't not. Right. It's not you. I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah. Like I said, if he's fucking you, he's wanting to come. Um, but I would have. Yeah, he should have been like, if he knew he wasn't going to come, he should be like, hey, I'm sorry. I can't. Mm-hmm. I don't At wanna, least after 30 minutes. Right. Yeah, for sure. I don't want to rub your raw down there. You know, she was sore the next day. Oh, common courtesy. Right. There's just almost nothing worse. It kind of starts making your pussy lips go inverted, like oh. into your hole, because it has no right silk. Silk. Oh. <laughs> silk. She said silk. She said silk. She said silk. She said, uh, yeah, so when that starts happening, the pussy lips, it ru- it does ruin my whole week. Oh. Mm-hmm. Right, you let her get dry? No, nah, it sounds like someone else. Uh, it's if he sticks it in, starting <laughs> in doggy. Like, if you start out in missionary, I'm fine. But if he just starts out with yeah. me in doggy, I know I'll be rubbed raw. That mm. is true. Mm. Very interesting. Don't know why. Physics. Yeah, I think if I knew I'm going to have a two-hour long dry sex session, I'd rather just not have sex at all. Or the warning. Bring the yeah. lube. Yeah. Vaseline. Food. Bring some snacks. You're right. <laughs> Bring some pastries, you know. You know, a trick she uses when she can kind of tell I'm lasting a little bit longer, she'll be like, do you want to watch some porn? Yeah. And then he'll To make stop. you last longer? And then he'll No, not. for me to hurrying. Oh, yeah. stop. And then he'll be like, Do you put it on your phone or on the big screen? No, just usually on my iPad or his, I don't know. And you'll just prop it up? Yeah, well... She's pretty sometimes, quick with it, too. Sometimes the big TV. In the living room? No. Did we Did we have sex in your mom's bedroom one time? Huh? And oh, yeah. You know they listen to this podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe we didn't. Hi, Denise yeah. and Russ. Oh, maybe we didn't. Y'all didn't. I think you just made that up. Maybe. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, honeys, we wish you the best sex sessions from here on out that are lengthy enough to be great, not short, and full of wet, wetness. No dry pussies allowed. No dry pussies allowed, or sore pussies, for that matter. We love you. Love ya. Um, hello, I just wanted to know if you guys get this too, but if um I come, sometimes... Like, most of the time, I start crying. <laughs> I don't know. It's, like, happy tears, but I don't understand, like, what's going on. But, like, I'll come. And it's not even, like, crazy hard. But, like, if it's been a minute or something, I'll, like, start crying hysterically. And my boyfriend is always thinking that he's the problem. And I, I reassure him and tell him it's not it's not him. I don't know what's going on. Um, but I start crying, and it's kind of embarrassing. So um, have you guys ever done that? Um, and it's not even, like, I, I don't come that much. Like, honestly, like, I don't know. But have you guys ever done that? Okay, bye. Bye, honeys. Bye, cum crier. <clears throat> um, 
I don't do it on a regular basis. I have, I have cried either not during sex, but right after, but I didn't come, but a couple times. You've said that on here. Yeah. Like when you have like super emotional, deep sex, I think I can, I, twice with Greg that I have just bawled after. No, no idea why. That's just so interesting. You never have. No, only if people are, are like cheering really loud at a sporting event or something with like joy, mm -hmm. but never after fucking. I'm usually like, see, but, get off me. I need to get the cum out. But see, it, it that's that's the difference. It wasn't just you're not just fucking. It's like an emotional, weird thing. It's different than regular sex. I'll have to experience it. I wonder if everyone experiences it, like, oh. one time in their life. Oh, I guarantee you. It's not, oh, God, and the last time it happened was probably, I don't know, five, six, seven years ago. And then once kind of when we first started dating. So it's happened twice where it's just, like, really emotional, and then I will just bawl after. Are you talking? Are you, like, oh. Yeah, fuck can, me in the can you imagine? Oh, and then yeah. you're just crying. Oh yeah, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's going on? I dude? don't know. I don't know. And then I, I so I can't. See, I would like that. I feel like. imagining you crying after is fucking funny. Not just crying, just like bawling, bawling because of the emotions. <laughs> and, and I heard, and I heard Oprah. I heard Oprah talking about that once. But imagine having, Oprah bawling after. Sex. I know. Was about Oprah. crying after sex, huh? Just kidding. Oh, uh, crying after sex. So she does it. I wonder what it is, dude. Just hit that spot, that cry spot. I guess, but I don't cry to, after an orgasm. You rarely cry. True. In general. Yeah. Huh. Maggie, you've never cried, huh? Mm-mm. Huh. Biffy, you know what I'm talking about? No? Yeah. Ball. Yeah, that's, oh, that's best something. that I've never loved anyone that much. Yeah, that's fucking love or something. Yeah, very weird. But it's different than normal than your regular sex. It's like I can't. I don't even know. Music on or something? No. Just uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Don't know, but I have. I I know what she's experienced. She just does it. Sounds like she does it on a regular basis. This is a thing. Let me look it up. I know this is like a normal thing for show i just wanted the psychology behind it it's a it's an emotional thing let's see here she says she has to like keep explaining to her boyfriend that it's not him that kind oh of sucks. oh okay because you know, i if hmm. i knew that i would like that well it could be like an well it's obviously probably from sex but yeah it's a good thing maybe true um I don't know. I can't. I'm googling it. I can't find it. Really? Um. Yeah. The only thing that gets me crying, I get pretty emotional around my period, mm -hmm. but I'm not like bawling. Yeah. But mm. even reading comments and stuff from people who support the podcast, dude, can make me <laughs> turk jerk a tear. Aww. Around my period, if you catch me at the right time. Yeah, for sure. Oh. I'll just pay, oh my gosh, I can't believe all these people. I would like to hear some calls or some DMs about about if you have experienced this even once, twice, or a regular basis. And I'm not talking about crying from pain of sex or crying from sadness or anxiety. I'm talking about like you're fine, but it's an emotional sex where you're you just ball. Let me know if you've experienced that. I would really like to know. Yep. Thank you. Thank you for calling in, honeys. Love you. My life can be a little hectic sometimes, you know, doing the podcast, editing, social life, then, you know, just regular keeping up with everyday tactics. Thankfully, Daily Harvest does more so I can do less. Think stress-free meals delivered straight to your doorstep. That means I don't even have to think about making a meal, the ingredients that goes with it, how long to cook it. Daily Harvest delivers smoothies, flatbreads, 
harvest bowls, soups, lattes, and more. Daily Harvest works directly with farmers to source out the best ingredients. Built on organic fruits plus vegetables. And they also freeze them at peak ripeness to lock in the flavor and nutrients, and they never use artificial preservatives or ingredients. As you all know, the flatbread is my personal favorite, but the zucchini minestrone soup is starting to be one of my top two. Daily Harvest truly does help me out because I'm doing crafts or working all day long, and to just plop something in the microwave or to just make a smoothie real quick saves me a lot of time and clean up. By supporting farmers who invest in practices that increase biodiversity and improve the health of our soil, and by delivering food in recyclable and compostable packaging where possible, Daily Harvest does the work. I eat and enjoy. It's a win-win. Let Daily Harvest do more so you can do less. Go to dailyharvest.com slash viral. Get up to $40 off your first box. That's dailyharvest.com slash viral for up to $40 off your first box. Dailyharvest.com slash viral. Hey, honey. Just a dirty little slut here. Same. So, my first time ever having sex was actually a threesome. Two guys and me. And then I think, let me see, the next one was me, a girl, and another guy, and then my third threesome was another two guys and me. All of them disappoint me. You would think, you know, more people, better results, no. So, why not try to add a fourth person? So this is where I'm stuck. How the fuck do you go from a threesome to a foursome without it being couple swaps? like? How do we do this, honey? And how would you do it? Would you do it? Would you have a threesome? Anyways, honey, happy 69th viral podcast. I love you both. Brett, lean back. Maggie, I love you too, sweetheart. Y'all are doing so fucking good with this podcast. We love it every fucking time. Can I get a hi? Love you, rock fuckers. Hi. We were the only ones that did it, Paige. Hmm. Oh yeah, we were still the only oh, ones that yeah. did it. That's great. You don't want me to do it, do you? Yeah, Brett. Oh, go. okay. One, two. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's great. Okay, I wasn't clear on the question. Okay, first time she had sex was with threesome with two guys. Mm-hmm. But uh, now that she's in a relationship and has threesome still, when does the threesome? When does a threesome become a foursome without? couple swapping hmm i guess somebody's got to be left out oh yeah you got to get a cuck yeah because how would you yeah you're right it would be just be couple swapping unless it was you and three guys and they were all worshiping you or two other yeah yeah she said another couple without just switching just like single people would work maybe yeah, Some single true. people, yeah, do, get a human who just wants to sit in the corner and maybe yeah. tug on his dick. I think maybe you are just going to have to experiment and figure out, figure that out. <laughs> do your research. Because <laughs> you could do anything. That could be anything. It depends on the people. And it depends on what y'all talk about before. Like, hey, I, you know, this needs to be this. Otherwise, yeah, you're just swapping and you're in different beds just fucking in front of each other. Unless, um... The girl just eats you out and sucks on your nipples and stuff, and then both men can just fuck you. That's true. And then I guess maybe you could eat out the girl, too. Eat out. Don't. I was about to say, do not say eat out. Feast. What? Oh. Ooh, Brett, feast? I think of a better word. You know. That's not it. That's feast. Pussy buffet. Ooh. <laughs> we got shrimps and fish and... A pussy feast. Cream, buffet. ice cream. Crawdads, and we got ice cream. Cream. Pussy buffet. <laughs> <laughs> a feast. Um, I've tried to have a threesome with Greg. He didn't want he does not want to. He's real weird about stuff like that. I've talked about that on this pod. Mm-hmm. He's very vanilla, very weird. Um 
Yeah. I'm more worried about after, you know? Yeah. Okay, so uh, you leaving yeah. type beat? Or just who is it? And, yeah. you know, I don't know. I don't ever want to see them really again okay. if I did. And just. You don't, don't want it to be a stranger, but you never want to see them again. <sighs> but then it'd have to be a friend. I guess I wouldn't want the person even knowing, like, anything about me or yeah. where I lived. Because you don't want a clinger. If you got yeah. a stage five. Yeah. On a threesome. That's bad. Oh, that's not good. And that would happen. But do you think anyone would have a threesome with y'all and then and then st- and then then really get cling to Brett and be like, I got to come back for that? Yeah, there's too much, too many emotions. Well, Once the I big put it head. In, you know, they won't leave. The big head will get you. Yeah. The big head will get you. Yeah. Big cog head. Yeah. So this sounds like y'all just love to just. Fuck. I, just love to fuck, and I think that's great. Whatever works for you. I don't know nothing about swapping, so I think you should just. There's four people, though. I mean, that's Tetris. Just get your minds rolling. Right. That's what I'm saying. You got to experiment. Experiment with it. Get those um those cubes that say, like, eat my ass, suck my tits, um, fiddle with my <laughs> clit. Yes. And just roll them. Each person roll it, and then. That's what you do for the night. It's fair. That is that is fair, and that's smart. Fair and smart. And the game. <gasps> Games are fun. Gary. Gary want him mama. Gary. Come here, little. Come here, little. Come here to mama. He wants Gary. me. He wants me. Come here, Gary. He can't get up here. Come here. I've fallen, and I can't get up. Gary, mama want her baby. Come here. Dude. Come here, little. Come here. <laughs> he w- we have a daycare. Come Doggy here. daycare. I want him. I can't grab him. He's got to get up here, Biffy. Grab that little He's boy. trying to play. He's wagging his Gary, tail. Gary, Nah, out. he's running now. He he wants Gary. you to pick him up, and when you try to pick him up, he runs. Does it hurt his armpits? No, we, we pick him up gently. Why do you Those do that, Gary? Legs. He's under Paige's chair. Paige, come here. <laughs> Paige, come Paige, here. Paige, come here. <gasps> come here to Mama. Yay. Grab him, Beth. Come here. I got him. I got him. Oh, Hi, flirting. little. Hi, baby. He said, I want to... Why is he breathing so hard? Listen to him breathe. Listen. Well, now he's not doing it, of course. I, well, I wanted to get up here because I wanted to say something. What, Gary? What, Gary? Gary. Well, <clears throat> is this mic on? <clears throat> Come on, Gary. I love threesomes, and I love fucking bitches. <sighs> Gary. Gary. You are an innocent angel. That's what you think, Mom. But I'm actually not. <gasps> this the is lips. my world. He's licking me right now. Listen, listen. Licking my face. <gasps> oh my gosh. That just made me so happy. Gary. Gary is mama world, and Gary loves strip clubs. Yep, I love going down there and getting lap dances from Candy and Tina and all my bitches. I love them. He loves strip clubs. And he loves licking faces. And pussy. I love licking pussy, too. Gary, Uh you're being naughty for mama. You don't get on mama's podcast and say that. You're being naughty for mommy. I love him. Oh, he's my world. His face. He is absolutely my world. The the nose. I want to put him on the table and see if he goes and leaks one of those dicks. Oh, gosh. Chelsea, that's... You can't do that. <laughs> Is he? No. He's, he went straight for the pussy sucker. He's, yeah. Straight I mean, for the, and straight for the nipple. All right. Where were we? So Gary is roaming around the desk now. So. Gary. All right, honey. Thank you for calling in. Love, Love ya. you. Honeys. Hey, honey. I just wanted to let y'all know, uh, because of this podcast, uh... I mentioned to my girlfriend about the toe and pussy situation, and um, now she really loves to put her toe up my pussy. And she said it, uh, we're both women, by the way, but um, she says that uh, she imagines that's what it would feel like if she had a, a dick and, you know, was fucking me. So she's like obsessed with the sensation now. She said it's not the same as fingers. Uh, it's totally different. She said it just, she can feel everything. And she asked me all the time to do it. And I just think it's really funny. 
and uh, not in a serious way. We're just fucking around, but <laughs> I just think it's really funny. And now we both love the podcast. I've showed you to my all my friends and my girlfriend and everybody, my brother, everybody, my siblings. We all fucking love you now, and I'm hoping I can come see you in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, so, oh yeah, oh yeah, spread the word. Honeys, come Thank see me you. in Richmond, Virginia. It's going to be a good show. Aren't we starting off in Richmond, Virginia? That's the first show of the tour, so please come see me. Go, bring the toe. <laughs> please go and bring the toe. Did the toe? I remember my friend, like, either she shoved her toe at my butt or just not meaning to. Mm-hmm. Really? That happened by accident? Well, we were all, like, in the same bed, and... Like, something happened oh, with a toe, yeah. and I was like, dude, is that somebody's toe going up my ass? Yeah. Not bad. Greg loves to put a toe in my pussy when I'm just sitting there. He hasn't done it in a long time. <laughs> That's so, ooh. It, yeah, it'll gross me out. And his toes? Are they oh, bad, God. Dad? They're like green. <laughs> <gasps> no wonder my pussy stinks. <laughs> dude, you probably have a blue waffle <laughs> from that. God. The dude. fungus? Mm. And it's probably all sharp and jagged and bunion-y. Oh, God. You're right, Maggie. I never thought about that. Uh-huh. But he, he's got one good toe and one nasty toe. One nasty toe, and we don't know which one he's sticking up there. Uh, well, it's dark, and it's under the covers. I don't know which one he's using. Whatever one he wants. Right. He's always like, let's go get a pedicure. I got to get this toenail clipped off. Oh, those poor ladies. Oh, I always make sure he tips good, because they have to dig out... Um, fungus. Like, fungus. Oh, you so probably what, have a fungus puss. <laughs> what happened was he dropped a big weight on his toe when he was in college. And it just, instead of the toe falling off, it just grows fungus. But the fungus is powder. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fungus is powder. And he'll scrape it out. It's weird. He'll scrape it out. And then it just eventually grows back. And he'll scrape it out. And I keep, and I have told him since we started dating. So 16 years ago, go to a foot doctor and get the fucking toe taken off. Because that cannot be good for you for it to keep regrowing. The toenail. Take the toe off? The Take toenail. the toenail. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, Chelsea, that's a big deal, <laughs> dude. He's going to be off. He's going to be off balance, dude. The toenail. Come here, little. Come here to mama. Cut the toe off. The toenail. <laughs> I told him, go cut your toe off. Maggie Gary um, loves me. He does. I love my mommy, and I love this podcast, and I love all the rock fuckers. <gasps> Gary just said that. Do you think they insert the full toe? See, see, Greg doesn't. He will just, just the tip. He'll put the tip in and he'll kind of wiggle, you know, and then I'm always like, stop. <laughs> you know, st- you know, I'll just hit him or something. Not really, but, you know, I'll just stop it. But some people, I'm sure, do put the full toe in and actually go like. <laughs> toe that pussy up. That's the size of the toe. Oh. She nice. just said toe that pussy up. <laughs> Ooh, dude, I well, can't. Well, I will say by personal experience, I love sticking my toes in pussies. I get that toe jam. I'll get that <sighs> tool in the corners of your toenails. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's not good. And there's like socks stuck in there. Oh, uh-huh, lint. Yeah. And the smell. Have you ever smelled it? Fucking stink. <laughs> <laughs> He's licking me and I can feel his teeth. Oh, Maggie, stinks. I can feel his teeth. He's happy. Oh, he loves his mama. Yeah, you love the mama. The licking. You love mommy? Does your face ever itch after that? Uh Uh-uh. He loves licking my face. Damn, dude. I think that'd break me out. No. I have to view it as it's helping my skin. Oh. Mm -hmm. Chin. Yeah, it's... yeah. Detoxifying. Mm Mm-hmm. He's doing mama good. Well, thanks for calling in about the toe. Hopefully, it's the big toe. Thank you for calling in, honeys. We're happy that something off the pod, you know, made y'all want to you know do that get creative yeah and thank you for spreading the word with the podcast we mm-hmm. really appreciate you guys love you here love you this is the last question <gasps> this is the last question mommy hey what's up just calling to say thank you my wife is one of your biggest fans like for real we drove to hutchins barbecue one day hoping to meet you but we missed you uh you played her call last week she asked a question about eating meat out of a can and drinking from plastic cups she was so fucking stoked that you played her call. Like, it really, it made her whole fucking month, not just her day. So, anyways, we're hoping we can catch you on the next, uh, next time you're in the Dallas area. And I'm also pretty sure I'm going to get my dick sucked if this message plays. So, you know, hook me up. Anyways. Woohoo! We had to hook you up. We had to hook you up, man. Um, I do have a show in Dallas, Texas at the Majestic Theater, May 14th, I think, or 13th. Go look at, 
at tickets at eatmytrash.com. But I will be in Dallas. Hutchins, my favorite barbecue place in the world. Yes. But we do usually post after we leave a place, so yeah, keep the gas money. I, you're right. And here's why I do that. I, you, I will usually post after I leave most of the time. Sometimes I won't. But people started um, after I left coming up and being like, "I just drove thirty minutes and you're not here." And I'm like, "I'm, I've already left. Like, I didn't, I wasn't having a meet and greet. I was just posting what restaurant I was at." So I have posted. I have said now, "Hey, like, I, I wait until I leave because I don't just want good you for safety." Yes, yeah. big time, and people don't understand that as well. Because and, obviously, we have the people that just love us and but you never know who's out to get us no you don't and so yeah honeys we um you know and honestly one time I have posted where this was years ago where I was at and I and a lot of people showed up like a lot and the restaurant got mad (laughs) like it was a lot of people and 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 they were like what's going on here what's going like you guys can't be here like they think they thought it was like a function yeah something like that and i was like i'm sorry like i you know and so after that is when i was like okay i i'm gonna Call, not but yeah yeah. A scene. yeah yeah i mean people even recognize you now without posting so you know yeah when we go out hey can i get a pic can i get a yeah so which is fine which is fine mm-hmm. but we will post after we leave but hutchins best barbecue in the world in mckinney texas oh i'm craving it so bad right now um even the sides oh good so good it is so good um get your blow job honeys yeah start sucking yeah get your blow job thank you guys for the support and for calling in yeah that guy's pretty smart yeah so. very smart yeah. you know what just popped into my brain what on the Valentine's Day episode, uh-huh. we never went back and did our fucking. What do you mean? Our Todd, Damien, Barbara. Oh, <gasps> wow. We're dumb as hell. The fact that you remembered that. It just popped in my head right now. Hmm. Oh, then should we end the pod that way? That's good. Yeah. Okay. We're going to end the pod with yeah. a little <laughs> with a little group orgy of Todd, Damien, Barbara, and then, Brett, do you want to be yourself in there? Just kind of insert yourself? Yeah. Insert. I'll just kind of go like this. Or. Yeah, maybe insert it from behind. And then me and me and uh, Paige forgot your name there. Damien. Me and Damien can start and then, you know, just kind of wiggle y'all's way in after. What's the see. scene, should we say? We're on a beach. We're on a beach. On a nude beach. Oh, God, the sun feels so good yeah. on my be- Oh, gosh. What? Who? Whoa. Have Whoa. you ever had sand in your pussy? Whoa, who is that? It's me. Oh, oh my God, somebody's What's fucking What's going me. on out here? Oh, somebody's fucking me. It feels so oh, good. Oh, Lord. Oh, who are you? Give me that sandy pussy. Oh, God. It's Barbara. Oh. Oh. Who is that? Somebody's what fucking me, and there's a, and then there's there's all these people oh. around me, and I'm getting fucked. Oh, oh, where's my glasses? Uh, I can't see what's going uh, on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Are you coming? Are you coming? I'm in I'm gonna come. come for me. Oh, there's uh, sand on my dick. Uh, 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 it's bleeding. <laughs> oh, my dick's bleeding. What should I do? Huh? You, you lost me. <laughs> <laughs> it was hard for me because. Here in Barbara. What's going on here? I know. I need my glasses. Because my brain automatically wants, <laughs> wants to, talk wants to that be like, way. what, bitch? What are you, you know? <laughs> I, for some reason, was thinking you were going to do it too. It took everything I had. I was trying to focus. <laughs> I know. When I said, who is that? I thought you were going to go, it's I know. a slut. I know. But then I was like, why isn't Chelsea doing Barbara? It no. even threw me off a little bit. Right. Damn. That's still good, though. Gary, thank you for making a cameo on to episode 69, baby. Sex on a beach would suck. Beth had it. Mm-hmm. it was she it she, said, it, she said it sucked. It sucked. It oh. still got off, though. Dude. Oh, she got off? Whoa. On the, whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Damn. No, it's, I can't. No. Need Absolutely lube. not. I would need lube. And just the sand? Yeah. Have you ever been on a boogie board and had a rash? Yeah, never at the same time. If your pussy felt like that. Yeah, yeah. 
Big time. Big time no-no. Y'all, we hope you loved this sex episode 69. We hope you loved it. And we hope you come back, and we Mm -hmm. hope you hit the download button, the subscribe button. We hope you call us in with more juicy, juicy calls and drama. And, I mean. And we hope you get a nut today. You Mm -hmm. know, it's episode 69. Let's all celebrate and get a nut. Okay? Leave a a review. And leave a review Mm -hmm. on our podcast page. Tag the person you fucked. Mm -hmm. Leave a review, Apple, Spotify, wherever you listen. We'd love to see what you guys have to say. And where you came, where you're listening from, too. That'd be great. Thank you all so much. I love you. Our phone number is 442-777-3331. And always remember that you're doing great. That you are looking good. And And fuck what everybody everybody else thinks. Be ready. We're going live.